idea. This is Dominique again from the Atlanta campus just bringing your black history riddle to you. So today I am an electronic engineer known for my work in designing a Fairchild Channel F video game console as well as leading the team in creating the first video game cartridge. I was dubbed as the father of modern gaming. Who am I? Again, you can send your answers to the email address at the bottom, have your parents send it, or you can um, reply on our post on our Facebook um, page when we post it. See you next week. I am strong. I am proud. I am special because I am somebody. Hey, what's up, Kids for Christ? You are strong. You are proud and remember you are special because you are somebody. It's Pastor Warren here. Remember, I'm one of your campus pastors and hey, I'm so excited to be back sharing with you all on this morning. Hey, good morning to you all. Happy Sunday. If you're just now waking up or if you're still, uh, still trying to get out your yawns, if you're still trying to wipe that crest out your eye, Hey, it's time to get up because, listen, we have a, a, a very exciting and a, and a very special service uh, this morning. And remember, if you were here last week, Miss Pam, she talked about um, a lifestyle of love. 
And we're going to continue talking about love today. Um, and we're going to talk about a lifestyle of love, but a lifestyle of loving yourself, loving your skin, loving your hair, loving your heritage, and most importantly, loving your history. Because we know that the month of February is also the month of what? Say it loud, I can't hear you. Black History Month. What? Speak up. Black History Month. That's right. Say it like you mean it. On a count of three, I need us to shout Black History, okay? We're going to say Black History. All right, you ready? One, two, three. Black History. It is Black History. History Month, where we're going to be talking about all month long the contributions that people who look just like you and me made to the world. Hey, let me tell you a secret. Come here, come here. Hey, did you know that the world would not be what it is today without black history? That's right. That's right. The world would not be what it is today without the history of our people. Did you know that? If you didn't, well, then now you know. Black history uh, is tremendous because um, black history has made the world a much better place. There are people who look just like you and me who have came in this world and made it a much better place. So we're going to be talking about um, loving a lifestyle of love by loving yourself, loving your skin, loving your hair, loving your heritage and loving that what? Loving that history. And we're going to be doing this by uh, through reading a story titled The ABCs of Black History. So it's story time. So sit on up, have your chin on up because it is story time and let's get ready to read the story. But first, let us please go to the Lord in prayer. So it's praying time. So put your hands together. But since we're talking about love and love is warm uh, feeling, it is um, it is warm hearting. Right. So let's warm up our hands to make this prayer filled with love. OK, so on the count of three, we're going to see who can rub their hands together the fastest so that we can have a nice, warm, loving prayer to God. OK, one, two, three, go. Rub those hands together. You should feel your hands getting warmer and warmer. Slow it down. You didn't expect that, did you? Huh, huh, huh. Speed it up, speed it up, speed it up. Slow it down. Speed it up, speed it up, speed it up. Woo. Okay. Now that our prayer is nice and warmed up, let us do this prayer. Okay. In Jesus' name we pray. Lord, thank you for today. Lord, we thank you for the opportunity to explore your word, to learn your word, and to grow in your word, Father God, we pray that you guide us, that you lead us, and that you continue to allow us to mature so that we can develop a better relationship with you each and every day. Lord, we thank you for your son, Jesus. We thank you for his love. We thank you for his sacrifice. And we thank you that we are able to have a relationship with you because of him. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right. You ready? It's story time. The ABCs of Black History the ABCs of Black History by Rio Cortez and illustrated by Lauren Semmer. History is not the past, it is the present. We carry our history with us. We are our history. James Baldwin. A is for anthem, a banner of song that wraps us in hope, lets us know we belong. We lift up our voices, Lift them and sing. From stages and street corners, let freedom ring. B is for beautiful. I'm talking to you. Your voice, your height, your hair, your hue. B is for brave, for bright and for bold. For those who stood up even when they were told to step back, stand down, remember their place. B is for brotherhood for believing in grace. C is for community, where we live, laugh, and eat. And for church, where we worship, mourn, sing, and meet. Did you hear Reverend King preach on his dream of civil rights, human rights, a powerful theme? D is for diaspora, pulled from our homes. 
we were carried away in ships on the foam to Haiti, Cuba, America, and Brazil. Our names are different, new, but still. We are connected, then, now, forevermore, to that long ago, far away African shore. E is for explore, to study a place, like Matthew Henson, the Arctic, Mae Jemison, space. E is for education, for expanding the mind, like Ruby Bridges, Linda Brown, The Little Rock Nine. The first black children in all white schools, they opened the doors and challenged the rules. F is for food, grown and farmed with our hands, worked and tilled and pulled from the land. For fried fish, ham hocks, warm buttermilk bread, or maybe the sharp taste of mustards instead. F is for folklore, by the light of the moon, for family, for freedom, for jumping the broom. G is for go, towards cities we were bound, for the great migration from country to town. From farming the land to the factory floor, we carried the blues on our backs, not much more. H is for Harlem, those big city streets, we walked and we danced to our own jazzy beat. When Louie and Bessie and Duke owned the stage and Langston and Zora Neale Hurston, the page. I is for imagine, invent, innovative, for all of the ways we are so creative. J is for Juneteenth, we were finally free or so we hoped in this moment of glee. J is for Juvert, when the drummers drum drum. From Trinidad, Granada, and Haiti, they come. K is for kin, our fathers and mothers, our ancestors, elders, our sisters and brothers. K is for Kwanzaa, which honors that bond. Ask Habari Ghani, and we might respond. L is for love. L is for love. L is always for love. M is for march, for lifting our feet, taking the movement, the cause, to the street. Black lives matter, every breath, every dream, every thought, each idea, each impossible scheme. The might of our message is easy to hear, the drumbeat of hope is louder than fear. N is for newspapers. We started our own to tell our stories and let it be known. We deserved the front page. We deserve to be seen and to also be featured in slick magazines. O is for organize, for getting together, to sit in and boycott to make our lives better. Thank you, Fred Hampton. Thank you, Diane Nash, for not being afraid of the possible clash with police and people who shouted and teased. Because of you, we can go where we please. P is for power. It's part of our core. Sometimes it is quiet. Sometimes it must roar. Like a panther, isn't that right, Huey P? Power for people like you and like me. And who do you think has more power than most? The president, Obama was the first to that post. But Shirley Chisholm, unbossed and unbought, came so much closer than most people thought. A black woman could, which just goes to show. P is for possible, so glow on, child, glow. Q is for queens, behold and bow down. Shield your eyes from the shine of their crowns. R is for rise, to reach for the top, relentlessly striving, refusing to stop, like ball players, boxers, and gymnasts who fly, sprinters and skaters who zoomed right on by, old records, old thinking, a sight to behold. They went for the win and grabbed for the gold. S is for scientists 
who charted the stars, studied the bees, took care of our hearts. For Benjamin Banneker, Patricia Bath, for Katherine Johnson's beautiful math. S is for soul, how sweet the sound. From the croon of Sam Cooke to the wail of James Brown. Brother Ray on the keys, Sister Thorpe dressed in mink, and Queen Aretha saying, you better think. <laughs> T is for Tuskegee, an all black school where students learned trades and toiled with tools. That's how we will rise, said Boss Booker T. But another smart man just didn't agree. W.E.B. Du Bois said industry's fine, but I think it's better to work on your mind. They had different ideas, but here is what's true. In their own ways, they were thinking of you. U is for United States. This story is tough. The birth of a nation was deadly for us. We the people in the land of the free? No one who was enslaved would agree. U is for unbroken, unshaken, unbound. Like Harriet Tubman, who went underground, took back her freedom and freed hundreds more, then was a spy in the great civil war. But when the states reunited again, the fight for our freedom and lives didn't end. So you is for unfinished, this American tale. With courage and strength, we will prevail. V is for vote. Do you know what that means? The freedom to pick and choose as you please. The freedom to choose who makes the rules, who has the power, who gets the tools to make their lives better that's why we fight. The freedom to vote is a true civil right. W is for writers whose wisdom and words bring to life worlds where our voices are heard. Rappers and poets and songwriters too. All those who spin from our point of view. X is for Malcolm, Malik El Shabazz, known also as Red. Malcolm Little, El Haj. By any means necessary, he insisted on change. Starting with X, he reclaimed his name. Y is for young, gifted, and black. Like Lady Lorraine, who never looked back. She wrote of big dreams in rooms so small. It's hard to believe they were dreamed in at all. Lorraine in her work moved Nina Simone, so much that Nina made work of her own. Young, gifted, and black, a banner of song that wraps us in hope, lets us know we belong. Z is for Zenith, the highest, the peak, the top of that mountain King said we would reach. He won't get there with us, but still we march on, rising, rising like the sun with the dawn. Wow, that was an amazing story. I learned some things that I did not know before and hopefully you did too. Always remember that it is okay to love yourself, that it is okay to love your skin. It is okay to love your hair, your heritage, and most importantly, your history. We thank God for history and we thank God for black history. Always remember that you are strong, that you are proud, and you are special because you are somebody and never let anything or anybody in this world tell you otherwise. Just as though our ancestors and predecessors who came before us, who made many great contributions to the world, always remember that you can do the same just as they did, that you can always make the world a better place. And any time that you strive to make the world a better place, then you are practicing what we call love. We hope that this message has blessed you. We hope that this story has blessed you. And always remember that black history is world history. And also for this Sunday's activity, we know that today is Valentine's Day, which represents love. And today we want you to write a letter to someone in your family whom you love. It could be your mom, it could be your dad, it could be your grandparents, it could be your brother, it could be your sister, it could be a cousin, it could be even a relative who's no longer here with us and who, who has joined Jesus in heaven. 
Write a love letter to someone in your family telling them reasons why you love them, why you appreciate them, and why you are grateful that God put them in your life. Thank you again, and we hope that this message has blessed you, and let us close out in prayer. God, we thank you for love. We thank you for the greatest example of love, which is the love that your son Jesus demonstrated many years ago. Lord, we thank you for history. We thank you for the opportunity to learn our history. And Lord, let our history glorify you as our history is meant to show love and make this world a better place. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. See you all next week.